Would you please welcome our newly elected Lord Mayor, Nuatali Nell. Look, I'll talk about the state government and the situation we're in, but before I do that, we could have a big battle, a big legal battle on our hands. On my phone, I will read for you the Transport Administration Act 1988, number 109. Paragraph number one. A rail infrastructure owner must not, unless authorised by an Act of Parliament, close a railway line. There has been no Act of Parliament to close this railway line. They are operating outside the legalities of the, their own state parliament. That's where they've gone wrong, and I know we will unite as a community, like we have today, to make sure they know they have made a huge error. After the local government election in 2012, our newly elected mayor at the time declared he had a mandate to close the railway line. No election material was ever produced during that 2012 election that said they wanted to close the railway line. Nova Castrians were hoodwinked and that election was bought. Two years later, with democracy has returned to Newcastle. And I very clearly, with my Labor comrades, promoted that we supported public transport in Newcastle and the retention of the railway line into our CBD and we were elected. Yeah. 50 metres across the road, in a couple of months, a $90 million new state law facility will be opened with all the employees and all the clients that need to go there come March next year, and there will be no train station at Sydney and no decent public transport solution. metres this way in 2016, the biggest urban renewal project will be built and opened in this city and that is the New Space University campus. That is a $100 million building, $55 million of public money, 5,000 students in our CBD and there will be no railway station at Civic. I know I'm preaching to the converted. We all know that this is not an urban renewal solution. We all know that the solution that has been proposed is not what the community wants. Why should we stand aside and accept this second-rate transport solution in this city? There is money in this state to be spent. Most of it comes out through this port. We should demand a world-class public transport infrastructure in this city. we got our fair share, we would have an integrated transport solution that may include an interchange, but it would include links to the airport, links to the university, links to Charlestown, and facilitate growth and economic development in this city. Cutting off public transport in this city without a solution for maybe two years, maybe never, is not the way to grow this city. I'm proud to be part of a labour movement that is protecting public infrastructure. And I'm proud to be the Lord Mayor of a council that now supports the retention of the rail line into our CBD. I'm also really proud to be part of a council that has confirmed its support for the low-rise development of the East End and protecting our East End's heritage. In two council meetings, we have turned a number of very conservative, very anti-community policies of that council around, and it will continue for the next two years until the next local government election. I stand with you side by side and demand our fair share for spending on public infra infrastructure in Newcastle and the Hunter, and I believe that $440 million of state government money of selling our asset, which is the port, is being absolutely wasted on ripping up that rail line. We need to protect our comrades in the valley. We need to protect farmland. We need to protect our food bowl. And the only way we can do that is with urban consolidation, with excellent public transport. And that's the type of urban planning this council needs. 
And this, that's the type of support we need from a decent state government. I call on the state government for our fair share in Newcastle. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Mayor. And uh, let's repeat that thunderous applause for the Lord Mayor. <laughs>